If you want to use a block list for your Securely classroom, the first thing you need to do is create the block list, and then we're going to apply it to the class in which we want it to be set to. So on the left-hand side, you're going to click on Web Links, and then choose the option Block Lists. From there, in the top right corner, click Create Block List. You're going to need to name it, which I'm going to name it Test Technology. And then you can write a description if you wish. You're going to need to add one site, and I always like to add um, coolmath.com, and then click Add. So you need one site to start your block list, and then from there, as you block different sites, they will just continue to add. Once you click Save, you'll now see it appear here in your block list. Over on the left-hand side, you're going to click on Classes and choose the classes in which you want to apply. For this example, I'm going to show you Test Technology. I'm going to click on the card and then scroll down here to where you see Use Block List. Now in the option, you'll see your Test Technology list or whatever you have named it. And then you're going to scroll back up to the top and click Save. You'll see here now the with the new feature, Class Session options are separated from your schedule so you can set these settings without having to have your class automatically start.